Hi and welcome to Fresh from my garden. We recently got some succulents from the plant nursery. So today we are making a simple succulent arrangement for our living room. So the varieties that we have here are Echeveria, a couple of varieties of Hayworthia, Crassula and an aloe variety. For the potting mix we are using some coco peat and cow dung manure along with some stone gravel. You can also purchase succulent potting mix from the nursery or from online stores. But this is something that we are making at home. Succulents require a potting mixture that allows good drainage and does not allow the soil to stay wet. So here we have a tray in which we are going to plant our succulents today. Succulents don't require deep pots to grow in. They grow well in shallow pots or trays like this. Add your potting mixture to the succulent tray by covering the drainage holes with leaves or a few stones so that the soil doesn't leak out during watering. Once you have filled the pot partially, you can plant one succulent at a time into this pot. Succulents are really delicate plants so be really careful when you are removing them from the pot and place them into the new pot. Carefully press down the root ball into the soil. Similarly repot all the other succulents in the tray or new pot. When watering these succulents we need to be very careful since overwatering usually kills succulents very easily. Now for a few tips to care for these succulents. Watering of succulents should be done only once in one or two weeks when the soil is completely dry. Make sure that you don't overwater your succulents. They kill them easily. The two main reasons why succulents die completely is due to overwatering and due to lack of light. They require a lot of bright indirect light to grow well. So when you are placing them, make sure you place them in a spot where it gets a lot of light but not too much of harsh direct sunlight. You can place them in a shady spot outdoors or in a bright and well lit room indoors. So we will be placing this succulent arrangement in our living room where we have two south facing windows and get a lot of bright sunlight. This will be placed in a spot where there is enough light to grow but it is not in direct sunlight. So these are two main things to follow when you are growing succulents. So in similar ways you can plant these succulents in trays or in other shallow pots to make little decors for your indoor living space. Along with the crassula, we also got an extra succulent that was part of that pot which we will be planting along with this in this tray.
so i hope you liked this video and our little succulent arrangement thanks for watching fresh from my garden